Hey guys, great to see you back again and welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show you the newly updated Google Play UI as a part of alpha beta testing. Every month Google likes to add some user interface tweaks into its Google Play family app. It may be small user interface tweak into any element or big user interface tweak like the newly updated or newly uploaded the UI of Play Store which we got 4 to 5 months ago. Approximately 3 to 4 years ago, Google announced in a Google I.O. that it will allow app developers to test their apps as a part of alpha and beta testing. For that, they must have a valid Google Plus community and the alpha beta opt-in link with the help of which they can opt in their app users. So it was the most difficult thing to keep account of the app which are currently being uh, tested via beta or alpha channel for any app user. So to overcome this problem, Google added or Google started roll out of beta tab in its play store. You will get this uh, tab uh, under my apps and games. Actually I started getting notification of this rollout approximately two weeks ago with the help of my friends uh, they posted some screenshots on my whatsapp as well as google plus timeline but i ignored them as i hadn't received that update because it's a server-sided update i got this new tab on my one device and my another device is still waiting for this server-sided update so guys don't be jealous the latest version of play store will not help you to get that new UI, it's a server-sided triggered update. No one can help you in this regard. So guys, please keep patience and you will get that update soon. But uh, I will recommend you to keep your phone connected to high speed net or Wi-Fi as long as you can so that you will get that update soon. Let it be, let's check out some user interface tweaks. When I checked that update for first time, I said, oh, it's just a beta tab. But uh, if you check this update in detail, you will come to know a lot of things. Normally, get, normally we get two tabs, install tab which show a lot of updates and the list of installed app on this device. All tab shows the list of all apps which are installed by this mail account on Android device. And beta is a dedicated tab for the list of apps uh, in which I have opted in for beta testing. Let's check out WordPress. I have updated this app approximately 10 minutes ago and again I got a new update. It's very awesome. Uh, I have opted in for WordPress beta. It's a public beta test. So in back it's showing that beta. You are a beta tester for this app. Awesome. If you scroll down, you will get this screen. You are a beta tester. App update will include beta version. If you leave this app's beta program, you will no longer to get beta updates. If I click on leave, it will give me warning that it will uninstall the, let, uh, the, the current version of WordPress from my device and uh, it will reinstall the latest stable version which was installed on Google Play server. Some people are saying that uh, if you haven't opted in for the app beta testing and if it runs public beta testing, you will get same kind of box but you will get this app is available via public beta testing and instead of leave, you will get option to sign up for that public beta testing. I think Google is trying to phase out uh, Google Plus communities joining and beta opt-in link to get beta updates and it's trying to move all those steps through Play Store only to reduce time required for beta testing. The newly added feature is app, pre app review. You will say this feature is available from the launch of Play Store, but this feedback is only limited to beta testers and developer. When we test any kind of beta or alpha app, it may contain some bugs, FCs and other, other problems. If I post a negative feedback on its timeline, then there may be adverse effect on the app's rating. So Google rolled out this feature. 
in this feature when i will uh, when i will review this app via alpha or beta testing this feedback will be seen will be available to see only for me and a developer and other beta testers this feedback will not be shown on public timeline so uh, app developer can develop that app easily it will perish those blur, uh, bugs and uh, app will remain getting new uh, reviews and positive feedback the next feature is contact developer this feature is very good it directly opens google plus community of that app now this was for uh, beta testing uh, let's check out for alpha testing and uh, private alpha testing app uh, or unreleased apps let's check out coa preview it's a cortana preview launched by microsoft for uh, indian continent uh, this uh, cortana preview is only available for uh, private beta testing or alpha testing so i don't think that you will try uh, you will get this update through play store as it's not available in india uh, it is showing that uh, unreleased because uh, it's in early alpha alpha stages it shows unreleased app installed same here is a option to provide the feedback the apps which you can see in the list uh, are all beta opted in apps most of apps run public beta testing you can search on google to get the list of apps which run public beta testing and some of these apps run private beta testing and to join that beta testing you will need the invitation from that developer apps like google trips also runs a private beta testing without that invitation you can't join or opt in for beta updates so guys that's all thank you very much for watching my video have a nice day take care that's all.